this is the main screen, okay? You have three tabs uh, with the list of occupied rentals that you have right now. This is our list right now. You see that there's some icons on the left that indicate stuff that is happening. For example, you see that the plane landing today is um, some people that will get here very soon. The plane leaving today, uh, it's people that, that is leaving soon. When there is other icons, those are alerts. Those are things that you need to be aware of for this booking. I'll go into more detail about this later on. Then you also have a tab for arrivals, which is uh, a list of the next uh, arrivals that you have and departures. It's, it's pretty simple, actually. Okay. Uh, if we go into more detail on each rental, whenever you go in, depending on your role, you will see some tabs or you will see some other tabs. I'm an administrator, so you guys can see everything here on this booking. There's some general information that you can access. There's a map, there's uh, uh, buttons to call the, the, the client or send an email or even set departure and arrival times. There is a details tab with the cost breakdown of the apartment in which you can edit some fees. Some fees cannot be edited, but we're working on it. But most of the fees can be edited and changed because, as you know, in many cities, um, there is taxes that depend on the age of the clients, on the number of clients, on the dates. And this, as you may know, changes greatly on arrival because client didn't tell you that they have two kids, so you expect it to, the tax to be a, a different tax. So you may want to change this very easily. Taxes, on the other hand, cannot be changed. Fees can, taxes cannot. Taxes is something that we feel is, um, should not be modifiable as, uh, as you go. Then there's a payments tab. As you can see here, everything has been paid. You may this this layout may resemble uh, what you guys see on Booking Sync because that's the idea. Uh, to uh, feel very similar to what you guys are used to on Booking Sync, and you have information for every payment. Every payment in on every payment you can attach uh, pictures, which is something that we feel is greatly important nowadays because you don't want to carry papers because papers get lost because receipts get lost because invoices uh, are wrong sometimes and you don't know how to share things with 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 other peers. So this is the solution. We have pictures for payments, we have pictures for bookings, and we have pictures for rentals right now. And um, if something was missing on here, you would see something similar to this. These guys have uh, an outstanding balance of 892 euros and the damage deposit. Okay. Uh, then we have, of course, notes and comments. Uh, notes and comments can be removed by the administrator of the team or the rental manager. Uh, and can be added by pretty much everyone except rental owners, but can only be deleted by administrators, rental managers, and the person who actually made the comment. And then we have pictures of the rental. We usually store here, for example, in Barcelona, we need to send information to the police about uh, passports, and we just use the, the app to on check-in and make a picture and send it to the police right from the app. Then uh, that's pretty much it for, for the bookings page. We have the rentals, which are pretty similar. You can filter them by name, for, for instance. And we can see future and past bookings. You can even see canceled bookings. Let me see canceled past bookings because uh, for instance, you may want to have to return some money to people that pay to you at the down payment or something like this. You, you can access everything any, anywhere, even if you're on holiday. Uh, and you can even block dates. Block dates, um, the dates can only be blocked by administrators, rental managers, and the owner of the apartment. 
if it's not the same person as the rental manager. Uh, on each booking, the view is pretty much the same as before. By the way, I didn't say that, but man, you can edit pretty much everything of the booking through the app. You have the pictures, which can also be filtered by booking pictures. You can see we have many, many pictures. We use this feature heavily. We have payment pictures and many, many other things. On every picture, you can see relative information of what this was. For instance, this, this picture was taken by a checking agent of ours called Isa on the Filmoteca Saria number one apartment on a booking from, of course, the 19th to 13th of September. And if you click on the icon, you go straight to the either the payment, the booking, or the rental. You can also share the picture. Like we said, it's, it's pretty useful. We find it's very, very useful, actually. Uh, some information about the owner, notes, and, and locations and the alerts. As you see, we have no alerts for, for this rental. Uh, so let's go with the alerts. Alerts are accessible through each rental, through the bookings page, through this uh, little bell on top. And we have several types of alerts right now. We have a uh, missing payment, a uh, very important alert, which is this one that you see here. It's the already left, and they still owe you a balance. This, uh, incredibly enough, happens to many companies. We speak with many other companies here in Barcelona, and we see that this actually happens a lot, which is, you know, the last thing you want to happen to want uh, that you want happening in your rentals. But this actually happens very often. So. Uh, a notification will pop up if this is about to happen. You can, uh, well, you have other alerts like missing payments. It's not as bad because, for instance, this uh, this rental here uh, is a very long one, so they may want to pay month by month. So you don't want to be notified about the alert for for another 20 days or a month. So you can hide it for several days, and it will pop again whenever the alert uh, has a meaning again. And we have a damage deposit alert, which is uh, they've paid everything, but they still owe you the damage deposit. This is something we feel is important, but it's not as important as missing payments because um, some owners or checking agents may feel like they don't have to charge the damage deposit or, you know, it changes from company to company. So you have the option to hide it. Um, again, from the pictures tab, you can access absolutely every tab and uh, every picture and filter it. Uh, pictures have several sizes, so whenever you have to share it, you can choose which size you want to share it with. If it's uh, an invoice, for example, you would share it with, with very good quality or a passport to the police. And you have this chat with us. If you have a problem, any problem at all, uh, you can chat with us anytime from right within the app. Uh, all right, then there's, there's also the settings, which is pretty straightforward. You can change your language. We have English, French, Spanish, and Catalan. And for the app, that's it. We have an upcoming feature next week, which is a task assignment. As you know, um, some tasks may be, may be important for cleaning ladies because uh, they need to know that the apartment is already uh, empty and they can come and clean. So that you can, depending on your role, you will be able to assign tasks from within the app to other peers in your company or external agents, for example, people that need to clean an apartment or I fix, fix a, a couch or a bed or something or painters, whatever. So you can assign tasks from right here and if they have the app, which of course uh, you can have as many users as you want in your team, uh, you will be able to assign jobs to, to each person from the app. And that's, that's pretty much it for, for the app.